Hey guys, so today we are going to talk about forestry. Um, we're going to talk about the different tree anatomy and the different parts in the tree, um, in the tree bark. So we're going to start with the anatomy. So the three parts, okay, and I'll highlight what you guys got to write. So the roots, okay, so what is the purpose of the roots? The roots are underground structures that anchor the tree and take up water, nutrients, and minerals from the soil. Okay, so these are the roots, and they are going to take up water and nutrients um, and take it up through the trunk and get it to the leaves, okay? So that's the roots. So the trunk, what's the purpose of the trunk? Okay, the trunk is going to transport water, nutrients throughout the tree. So the trunk's job is to take up, get that water and nutrients and minerals from the roots and take it up to the leaves. So the crown. The crown is the primary function of making food. Okay, so that's where the leaves are going to be. So this part is composed of leaves, branches, twigs, and flowers. So primary function is making food. Okay, so primary function is making food. So now we're going to talk about what does the inside of the tree look like. We got the outside parts figured out. So let's talk about what the inside of a tree looks like. So if you were to take and cut out a tree, this is what the tree, the inside of the tree looks like. All right. So this is what the inside of a tree would look like. You would have your cambium layer, your sapwood, your hardwood, your outer bark, and your inner bark. And we're going to break down each section. So your hardwood. Okay. So your hardwood. It's going to make up most of the tree trunk, and it is the backbone of the tree. So your heartwood, okay? So just like your heart is kind of the backbone of your body, the heartwood is the backbone of the tree. And this is what the heartwood looks like, okay? So then sapwood. Okay, what is the sapwood? The sapwood is the living xylem that transports water and nutrients up from the roots and the crown. So the sapwood is, this is where your nutrients and your water is going to travel up through the tree. Then you have your cambium layer. So what is that? So the cambium layer is going to produce new bark and new wood every year. So just like your skin produces new skin, okay, or skin cells, the cambium layer is going to produce new bark for the tree every year. Okay. So then you have the inner bark. So what does the inner bark do? Okay, it's going to carry food from the leaves to the branches to the stems and the roots. Okay, um, and it, the scientific name for this is the phloem. Okay, so the inner bark, its main job is to carry the food from the leaves to the branches to the stems to the roots, to, to carry it throughout the entire tree. The outer bark is the dead phloem cells, and it's going to protect the tree from the diseases and insects. So just like our skin protects us from diseases, that's what the outer bark does. Okay, so the outer bark is kind of like the tree's skin. So now we've talked about the parts of the tree and the inner parts of the tree. Now we're going to talk about tree products. And here are your different tree products, okay? So wood products, okay, so wood products are products that come from wood, okay? So some examples, and you just got to pick two, okay? So just pick two examples of wood products. Okay, so lumber, baseball bats, pencils, rollers, plywood, pallets, um, fuel, hardwood flooring, um, and furniture. So anything that you that is made out of wood comes from a tree, okay? So some cellulose products. And these are, cellulose is the material that makes up the walls of all plant cells. So this is basically using the trees um, or the plant cells to make products. So some examples, again, just pick two. Okay. Um, some examples are paper, toilet paper, Twinkies, um, football, football helmets, um, suntan lotion, carpet. Okay, because carpet kind of, is kind of fibery. Um, and toilet paper needs stuff to keep things together or keep it together. So then what are bark products? Okay, so bark products are products that come from bark. Okay. Um, examples of bark products, and again, just pick two. 
Okay, so just pick two. So some examples are cinnamon, um, mulch, vitamins, cork, oil spill agents, um, bedding for animals. The bedding that I use for willow is um, bark shavings. Some sapwood products is, okay, there are going to be products that come from tree sap. Um, and if you like go to hiking at the cliffs of the noose, you may see this, and that's sap. That's what sap looks like. So again, just pick two. Okay, so some examples are candles, perfumes, crayons, soap, rubber products, um, printing ink, and bandage strips. All right, so fruit and seed and leaves products. Um, these products come from leaves, seeds, and fruits. Now, if you guys can remember this, um, you that fruit, seeds, and leaves products come from fruit, leaves, and seeds, and you don't have to write that down. Okay, so examples of fruit, um, seeds, and leaves products are going to be pecans, apples, oranges, pine nuts, walnuts, nutmeg, um, bay leaves, dice, and cider. So anything that's like a fruit that we get from a tree is considered a fruit product, okay? All right, so that's the end. So what I want you to do is um, take a picture of your notes and post them on your Canvas course. And if you have any questions, then send Miss Wallace an email.